All right, here we're gonna show you how to service this unit here, how to remove the piston, re-lubricate it, and put it back in service. So let's get started. This is um, routine maintenance for this kind of unit here. First you remove this little screw, pop the cover off. Next, you're gonna want to put the unit on bypass. Show you how to do that. You're going to turn it clockwise all the way until this is flush with the black part here. Now that you've done that, the unit is now on bypass. Now we're gonna cycle through a regeneration to ensure we uh, relieve any pressure that's built up here in the control head. So you're gonna hold the regen button. You're gonna see the can start moving. You're gonna go to information. You're gonna press up. Or you're gonna push information once, then you're gonna push up. And then you're gonna push up one once more. Cam is going to move. You're going to push up again. And then up again. Now it's going to say home. That's where you want it to be. You want this to be in the home position. It's very important that when you take this apart, it's in the home position. So when you put everything back together, everything lines up perfectly. So now we go to program all the way until you get to the home screen, which is the time of the day, right there. Now you can go ahead and unplug it. It's definitely very important that you unplug this when you go and service this. Again, so that nothing moves and you want this to be in the home position. Next, you're gonna remove this screw here. This, make sure you remember which screw goes where. And then uh, you can remove this micro switch off to the side next you're gonna remove this cam there is a clip the C clip in there holding it all you have to do is take your screwdriver and pry it loose now you can pop the cam off there you go the cam is off put it off to the side uh, next, you're going to remove this plate here. You have one screw there and one screw there. Take your Phillips screwdriver. Open loose. One. Two. Now it's loose. This plate can come off. Set it down. Uh, there you go. These are loose. That's good. Next, you're going to remove... That screw there. Okay, so we're gonna remove this screw. <coughs> All right, there's the screw. Again, make sure you keep note of which screw is where because they could look kind of similar. Then you can go ahead and come down here. up here you're gonna notice that this brine piston here has um, comes out only one way this plate has a couple of notches that line up with the brine piston so you can there you go remove it like that and you can remove these two screws set them down now this plate here you can uh, you don't have to disconnect anything you can just lift it over 
and set it here on the valve body like that. This micro switch, you want to move it out of the way so it doesn't get wet. <laughs> Next, we're going to remove, this is the brine piston here. We're going to remove that. Set it down. And then we're going to remove the main piston by getting some channel locks, grabbing it about halfway through and you're going to use your knee to uh, hold the tank down while you pull on the piston here just like that next if you want you can get a bucket so you can catch any water <coughs> just a little bit of residual water there okay this is what the Brian piston looks like here. Uh, I'm going to grab a rag, just kind of clean it up. A lot of the times this green part here, if, if the inner um, shaft, if it's dry and there's not enough lubrication, it'll run uh, dry and it'll get stuck and it'll give you an error code on the, this, on the display here, the circuit board. So this is also the service that you need to do. Get it working again. Now that it's dry, this piston is just gonna twist off. Um, you wanna twist it off right here in the middle. You can set it down. Uh, next. Uh, you're going to want to push this piston out this way with your palm like that. Now this this is the shaft that you want to lubricate. Make sure it's properly lubricating. Uh, you can use some white lithium grease like this. Uh, make sure you don't use any petroleum grease. Uh, don't be shy. You can use a lot. The more the better. You go then you're gonna make sure and once you're done you're gonna push it all the way down until it can't go down any further grab the other half you're gonna just simply twist it back on so it's nice and snug and you're gonna grab some more grease and do these outside o-rings here And there's no such thing as too much there you go you're gonna grab the piston and you're gonna push it back all the way in like that from those from the black part not from the not from the actual um, silver part here but from the black part you're gonna push it in next you're gonna grab the brine piston uh, lubricate the o-rings as well Just like that and now when you put it back in you're going to make sure that this rounded part is facing up and this longer part is facing down and i'll show you why there you go all right next you're going to grab this plate here that we took off you're going to notice it has two notches here one two these are going to line up with the notches on the brine piston. So you can turn the piston slightly sideways, get it in, and then make sure it is, um, the bottom part of the brine piston is in the groove there. I'm going to grab the proper screw. And then you're going to screw it in. There you go. Not all the way tight, but just snug, snug. Next. We're going to do this screw and this screw.
There's one. And there's the other. You're gonna barely just thread them in a little bit, not all the way. There you go. There you go. Now you're gonna grab the plate. And like I said earlier, it was very important that uh, you do this while in the home position because this here is gonna line up on this groove here. And this here, this part is gonna line up with the piston here. And if everything's in the home position, it should just line up perfectly, go all the way back. And pull up, and that's it right there. Everything's lined up. Now you can hold this up with one hand, tighten the screws. Go. There you go, nice and tight. Now you can come back up here and finish tightening this top one. There you go. Okay, next we're gonna Line up the cam here. You're gonna install it here. As you can tell, there's a longer here and a shorter here. If you look at the cam, there's also a shorter one and a longer side. Also, this round notch up here on the brine piston that I said earlier is gonna go in the outside groove here. So you're gonna back in, make sure it's in the groove, which it is. Everything looks good. You're gonna take your flathead. And you're going to get this locking ring like that. And then you just take your flathead and lock it into place. There you go. Just like that. Next, you're going to take your micro switches. Make sure these little gray switches are touching the cam. That's the only way it goes. You're gonna grab your screw. Screw it back in. Okay, and that's it. Everything is put back together. Make sure Again, everything is in the um, right place. Make sure the piston's there, back there, on this white plate. And you can go ahead and take it off bypass. Uh, just turn the knob. Um, when it's fully open, you will feel it lose resistance. There will be no more resistance. That's when the bypass is fully open. Right there, no more resistance. It's fully open. You can go back and plug it in. Okay, then there you go. 